this is part two. Still going to be a little bit of liquid in there because, you know, you can't, can't perfectly. Now throw in some more of that same nonpolar solvents into here. Grab the top of the flask and shake it around, you know. Mix it all up because your methylamine is going to be in that little bit of liquid that's in there. And you want to soak it up and get it out of there. Shake it up, you know. Let it, put it in the freezer for a little bit and let it sit so it absorbs, you know, all the methylamine. Then decant it out in, into this, you know, your mother liquor. And put some more nonpolar solvent in there. Grab it and shake it up, shake it up good. Put it, you know, cover it back up, put it in the freezer. Repeat that process like three or four times, right? Then on the fourth time, maybe, when you throw in some nonpolar solvent, you want to take and shake it up and let it sit or whatever. Now you want to take it out and put it through a filter, okay? And scrape all the solids out and get the solids into the filter. All right, the reason why you didn't do this in the first place is because trying to filter stuff through hydroxides is impossible. By the time you were done, all your methylamine would have been evaporated away. So now there's hardly any methylamine in there, so it won't matter that much, right? And you have your nonpolar solvent in there, so it'll help, you know, absorb it and not let it evaporate. Put it through your filter, and then put that liquid into here, and then the, the cake, the solids in the filter, put some more nonpolar solvent in there just to wash it out. You know what I mean? Wash out them solids more. You know, suck that through so it's dry with a vacuum pump a little bit. Don't have your vacuum pump on the whole time or your methylamine will just go right through the pump. Just turn it off for a second, you know, to get it flowing when it stops. Get it somewhat dry and take that and add it to your mother liquor. Now, you should have mainly uh, your nonpolar solvent and your methylamine inside this mother liquor. Okay, or this filtrated li liquid. All right, so you're going to have other impurities in there, like maybe unreacted um, nitromethane and some other stuff that, you know, chemistry has got a couple other hundred million little impurities or whatever. If they're hydrocarbons, they will also be in your, in your mother liquor, right? So anyways, you're going to take this mother liquor, put it in a set funnel, and... There's probably enough water in there for it to form two layers. So you know the deal. You shake it up and vent it, shake it up, vent it, shake it up, vent it, let it sit for 15, 20 minutes. It'll form two layers. Yours will be on top. Uh, <coughs> take the water layer and save it. Take the nonpolar layer and set it aside. That's your mother liquor. Now the water put back into the set funnel and add five milliliters of your nonpolar solvent you chose. You know, shake it up, vent, shake it up, vent, shake it up, vent. Let it sit for 15, 20 minutes. And then drain out the water and save it. Drain out the 5 milliliters of your nonpolar solvent and put it with your mother liquor. And throw the water back in there. Repeat that process like five times, okay? Get all the methylamine out. Then, then you're done. You don't have to worry about the water after that. Now take that mother liquor, the, you know, the nonpolar solvent, your methylamines in there and you probably have some hydrocarbons that are impurities that are in there and you're going to throw some anhydrous salt or maybe some molecular sieves so that you can soak up any water that's in there okay you know stir it around let it sit a while and then filter out that stuff that you use to collect the water up with now you have a nice dry solution hopefully now I'll take your mother liquor. You can see how I have it set up here. Uh, this is just a generic box, but it would be a set funnel dripping, uh, dripping hydrochloric acid onto sodium chloride, table salt. And that makes HCl gas, which would be forced through this tube down to the bottom of this liquid. And of course, you'd have a hose going to a suck back trap and a bubbler. That liquid is the nonpolar solvent you have and yes it may have some impurities that are hydrocarbons may even be nitromethane in there but it won't matter because when you bubble the HCl through the only thing that's going to react is the is the methylamine that you made 
it'll turn into methylamine hydrochloride and it will precip out as a solid and that's the only thing that's going to precip out as a solid you can filter it dry it and you have a nice pure methylamine hydrochloride salt there is one more thing i wanted to mention you know when you get you know you mix all this stuff up and then you reflux it for 30 to 60 minutes there is a way to test to make sure that all the nitromethane is gone if you get some water and then you take a dropper like a pipette and get a, a little bit of a sample out of the pot and you put it in the water if the water stays clear then there's no nitromethane left right if the water gets kind of cloudy you know what i mean uh turbidity or whatever then you know there's still nitromethane in there and you need to you know put some more metal in or whatever you know what i mean to or just say screw it but that's how you know if all the nitromethane is gone or not so anyways that's my guess on how to do this I take it for what it is i guess um, enjoy have a great day and always remember science is great <laughs>